Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, and this tutorial is to help you understand how to use Logisim, which is what we're going to use to simulate circuits. If you haven't already done so, you can go to uh, HTTPS SourceForge.net under Projects and Circuit, and you can actually download the version of Logisim that we're using right now. It requires you to have a Java enabled on your computer. Just follow the instructions and once you download it you can execute it which should bring up this uh, pane right here now we're going to go through the tutorial that's actually on the help uh, portion of Logisim you can see the tutorial up there and there's a user's guide and a library reference so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the tutorial that's actually on there to show you how to build a circuit follow this tut uh, tutorial on video or you can actually go through it uh, yourself under the um, the tutorial to help underneath the Logisim. So what we're going to do right now is explain to you the uh, the uh, uh, orienting yourself amongst Logisim. This is the uh, area right here with the dots on it that's called the canvas. We have the menu bar up here okay, and the toolbar right below it. We have the explorer pane which uh, you can collapse and open up to uh, uh, show you all the different things that you can add, the gates and the wiring and the memory and the input output and the base. And you also have the attribute table. We won't look at the attribute table for this tutorial. Well the first thing we want to do is we want to actually do a, a, an exclusive OR gate. Now let me show you on the tutorial and I'll pull this up over here and bring it over this is what we're going to build right here. We're going to build this explosive, uh, exclusive war gate. Now, if you know what an exclusive war is, if you don't, then go back and review it. It's a circuit that, given two inputs, X and Y, will only turn one if and only if one of the two are on, but not both. So we're actually going to show you actually how to build them, and we're going to go through and build the circuit. So. The first thing we want to do is we want to add uh, the AND gates, and we add all the gates first uh, rather than the wires. That's the easiest thing to do. And I can use the ones up here. These are the ones that I've used most often so far. They're also down here under gates. So I'm going to grab an AND gate up here, and I'm going to say I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to give yourself plenty of room. I'm going to put another one right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to pick a NOT gate. And I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to grab another NOT gate and put it down on the other AND gate. And I'm doing my OR gate and put it right out to the right. And just line them up. Try to make it as neat as possible. Now I'm going to start adding my uh, uh, input and output. <coughs> so I'm going to give the input outputs. I'm going to do my LED and we'll put it right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and start connecting them. Now before you do that, go up here to the wiring. I'm going to add a pin. This is what will allow me to turn things on and off. So I'll put a pin right there. I'm going to put a pin right here. Now let me move this over just a little bit. There. That looks better. Now I'm going to line them up. Now to do that, I'm, I'm on wiring and I've got my uh, arrow up here selected. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to connect that to this one and it'll line it up for me. I don't have to worry about too much. See the little uh, green arrow? Okay, I'm going to line that one up. Now let's go ahead and connect the AND gate to the OR gate. And you notice I have to stop right there and continue on. It allows me to do one right turn, but that's about it. Let me go over here and do the same thing. Oops, grab the green arrow, bring it down. Alright, and now I'm going to go connect the LED up, and then I'll connect this one, and I'll connect this pin. And now so you'll see the little green arrow lighting up, that means I can grab it. Now what I want to do is I want to connect the, we'll call this A, and we'll connect it down to this one. Now I'm very careful not to line these two up right here. They cross over, so I'll just move it over to the side a little bit. And there, move it to that way. All right, very good. Um, and I can go ahead and I can add uh, 
my inputs. I can say, well, okay, this is a, this is a, let me say x, and let's say this is y. Okay, and I can say this is a output. Very good. Now I want to test the circuit. All right. Well, to test the circuit, what I go ahead and do is use the poke tool right there, poke it. And you'll see that this inside this pin right here is X, and I can change that to a zero. Okay. Now this one X means it's it's not defined yet. So inputs are either one zero or X. Uh, X meaning it's neither a one or a zero. So if I change it to a zero, nothing comes out. I change it to a one. You'll notice that the output is uh, lit. So I take this one off and change it to a one, and this one to a zero. And you'll see this one's it. So that's our that's our exclusive OR uh, circuit. Now you want to save it. You say file and save as. And we can actually say it's a circuit and I'll go save it to my uh, uh, my drive. And this is uh, my class drive where I put it. This is, uh, I'm doing this actually for the spring, and I'm going to create a new folder, okay, I'll just say I'm circuits, and I'm going to go into that directory. And say XOR. Say save. Very good, very good. Well, this is the tutorial on the uh, introduction tutorial on LogiSim and how to do it. Suggest you do this yourself, build the circuit yourself, and uh, and save it. The other thing you might want to try to do is uh, something interesting. Is on the inputs, you can try the button. Now, the interesting thing about the button is it only turns it to one while you're pressing on it. Where these pins right over here will stay one or zero. It's a toggle switch. Hope this uh, tutorial helped you. Play it as many times as you want to and uh, look forward to doing the next one.